Welcome back to Pokey National Geographic's first episode of 2024. My name is Professor Ginko, and today we're exploring the wondrous landscapes of Viridian Forest. Many young trainers tend to pass through the forest on distinctly marked paths. However, a majority of the forest's grand foliage is untouched by humans due to the incredible number of territorial beedrill that call this place home. Beedrill is a large bug and poison type Pokemon with two sets of wings, a large antenna for sensing their environment, and two massive compound eyes that give nearly 360 degree vision. This incredible sight aids Beedrill when navigating at high speeds because it allows them to easily search for food while avoiding predators like Pidgeot or Scyther. To defend themselves and their colonies from these threats, Beedrill are heavily armed with physical and chemical weaponry. Its large forelimbs have developed into cone-shaped stingers paired with their own venom glands. These stingers are capable of delivering powerful poison-type attacks like Poison Sting or Poison Jab, and its abdomen even features a third stinger should an attack come from behind. These venomous weapons, however, have an alternate use. Unlike its closely related cousin Combi, Beedrill doesn't subsist solely on nectar and honey because this Pokemon is a predator. Beedrill preys on smaller bug-type Pokemon such as Caterpie or Venonat and uses its venom to incapacitate its prey. Afterwards, they bring their prize kill back to the colony for consumption and storage. The predation of leaf-eating bug-type Pokemon within its home range not only provide Beedrill with meals, but also transforms the forest it resides in by reducing consumption of nearby plants. Therefore, leaving plenty left over for the next generation of Beedrill as they start their life as herbivorous weedles. Hey everyone, it's Elias from Elias Entertainment, and I just quickly wanted to give a huge shout out to Geek Ecology. If you don't know who they are, it's kind of in the name. Geek Ecology is an ecologist who focuses on geek-related creatures. They reached out to write the script for this episode, and of course I said yes. If you want more content related to the science and ecological life of Pokemon or other fantasy-type creatures from different video games and media, go check them out. I'm going to tag their TikTok and YouTube below, but if you want a specific suggestion, then may I suggest the I Love Snake Pokemon video that they did about five months ago? It's a fun video. Again, thank you so much to them for writing the script for this episode, and thank you all for watching. Oh boy!